Oh yeah. Yeah, let's get it today. Oh, I'm feeling it. How is everyone? Welcome. Solo survival. Mr. Tills, rocking hand, let's go. Base there, base three over there. Yeah, we're in this today. Go ahead, night time. What a start. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Already clocked some wood and some stone. Let's grab that. Um, and then I'm going to have to kind of wait out night time, I guess. Oh, annoying. Got a lot, a lot, a lot to get done, guys. We have a base to build, servers to dominate. So I hope you guys are all doing great and just having an awesome day. And if you guys are hyped for a new series, because I am, I've got all day today, right? I've, I've, it's Saturday for me today. I have told my girlfriend I'm doing nothing but playing Rust. We're going to try and just hit this hard today get so much done I'm, I'm buzzing for it i haven't done this for months if you guys are hyped too don't forget to leave a like guys if we could shoot for like 1.2 like k likes oh it'd be stunning you guys have been absolutely crushing it recently i can't thank you guys enough for the support and the love recently thank you so much for that but that's enough of that spiel let's get into this one today i'm gonna go and see what i can get done yes i love this game i just love it look how dark that is oh it's just the best game we'll see Ooh, that is just incredible. We need to get our hands on 75 scrap and find a research table right now. Okay, finally made it to the outpost. Damn, the lighting in here is dope now. Okay, I'm just going to smash. I, I hit a load of barrels, got a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to basically recycle all of this stuff. Okay, loving it. we got so much cloth right now. This is the best. Okay, so I think before we die, it's probably uh, not the wisest choice, but getting garage door right now, I think, is really, really... It, it, it's worth. Let's get 3k wood. Hate farming wood. Let's do the safe thing. Cook this crude up while we're here. Guys, if you do not use the outpost, A, it looks stunning, but you have, you have to come here. Whether you're a solo player or not, it is so good. Look, we've learned blueprints, we've bought shit, but like nothing, we hit a few barrels, and now we're going to get enough stuff for a furnace. I'm just going to, uh, oh, I could actually, I suppose, craft myself a pickaxe now, actually. If only I had some BPs, I could have crafted the stuff here at that tier 1 workbench, but hey-ho, we'll be fine. I'm going to move on now and look, try and hopefully build a base, I suppose. There's a guy right there. Just hoping he didn't see me, because this is kind of where I want to build. I just really need to just spam stone nodes for a few minutes. I haven't looked over this hill though either, which sucks. I'm tempted to go down the route of dropping a starter base and then dropping a main base. Okay, there's a base just over there. There's a guy just over there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that going to cause me some grief? Managed to save a little bit of resources by not putting a wall on that bit. That's fine. It's alright. This is a little bit of alright, guys. I like it so far. We haven't got oodles of room, though, which does suck. Shit shack. Shit shack. Base. If I can find a sword, we can raid these bases dead easy. I've got blades. We do, All we need to do is just craft some. learn the sword. That'd be juice. One thing I'm not seeing a lot of around here, actually, are nodes. Uh, I don't really like that. Worries me a bit. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of my area. I think that's uh, that's a given. There are no nodes around here, which sucks. I guess, I don't know if that's because the couple of bases that are nearby are just taking them all, but uh, I don't know. I don't like it. I love this new quick movement, by the way, as well. That is just sexy. Yes, guys, today's episode is probably going to be a little bit more... A little bit longer, a little bit more chilled out. I want to give you the, the whole experience. A lot of you love the longer episodes. I love bringing them to you. They're a bitch to edit, don't get me wrong. Um... But it's a lot nicer being able to show you the whole progression. So, like, you see start to finish. And end-to-end -end wipe. Like, you actually connect with the base. Well, this is the sort of videos I like to watch anyway. So, I'm gonna that's what I'm going to start doing for you guys. Rather than cherry-picking some good stuff. You see it all. You connect with the wipe like I do. You connect with the base, hopefully, if we get a nice one. Yeah. You throw yourselves into it. So, in yeah, enjoy. I'm also thinking, because uh, we're coming up to 200,000 subs, which is pretty crazy. I was thinking about doing a couple of Rust key giveaways. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. I know a lot of you do have Rust, but a lot of you don't, so let me know if you'd, if you'd be down for that. Ooh, okay. That's where all the nodes are going. The guy, the guy who lives in this base, by the way, has just run behind it. He has a rad suit on. I need to get out of here. He's going to have a hell of a lot more than a fucking bow. Ooh. That's not bad. God, there's a big base over there as well. Fuck me. Four hours late to wipe. There's fucking bases everywhere. Want something good? Ooh, that ain't bad at all. Okay. Okay, things are looking up. 
th things are definitely looking up. Could have our own fucking green oasis up here in the desert. That'd be pretty cool. Let's be honest, is it a Teal's white day unless he, d he builds about eight bases before he's happy with it? <laughs> okay, so we've got some decent loot now. Um, I'm moving into this base. I'll go and grab the other stuff. I want to get... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I think I want to live. A nice area. We've got both harbour and mining outpost. A good road. A good rad town nearby. We're both between outpost and bandit camp. And launch site isn't too far. And this river up here will give us food. Yeah, this will work. This this is this is going to be good, guys. Don't even worry about it. I mean, I'm a little worried, but it'll be fine. Fucking dude, i got my entire base on me. These are the early parts of Wipe Day. This indecision until you settled. And then you can go for all the PvP you want. I just need to get... I need to get my base secure and everything. That's that's the big thing. Once that's done and out of the way, then we can hit barrels and fight guys all the live long day. There he is, look. Oh, he did die. Okay. This guy's actually building a base right now. Oh, it's too dark. Why, game? Why forsaken me? Sword, oh my goodness. That sword is so good! Now we can go and raid a couple of the bases over there when we've got the workbench up. Let's go boys, let's go, that's a big come up. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. I legit never get enough farming done at the start of wipes anymore. I always jump straight into it and try and like, push it too hard, and then I, I say die. I fall back and I don't have any stuff to be able to like go back out again and then I get demoralized and I just sort of rage quit. So today, in with the farm for the first sort of couple hours, just ramming it hard, getting a load of shit, and then recycling it and then moving on and we can do PvP raids, all that sort of jazz, whatever. But I need I need scrap and stuff right now. It's, it's, it, 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 there's no other way to get around it, really. I'm really hoping this is going to give me enough scrap to be able to buy the pickaxe and learn it while I'm here. It should do. I've got so I've already got 74, so we're going to be absolutely golden, hopefully. I want to keep these metal blades as well so I can learn the uh, sword as well. Oh, tell you what, guys. It's, got, it's already shaping up to be a very, very good wipe, and we've only just started. Some of the prices in here, like 200 scrap for a revolver, is obscene. However... 50 scrap for a metal pickaxe is not all that bad. Like I say, living off outpost right now. It's just, it, it is the one and only place to do it, guys. So good. Now I've, I've got enough scrap just from hitting the road outside to be able to learn that pickaxe after buying it. So now we can go and farm nose like the fucking guy out of fashion. We've already got a tier one bench back at base. This is going so good. It's time to begin a little bit of an explore further afield. But first and foremost, which I won't bore you all with, I need to get a farm going, so I'm going to grab some nodes and bits and pieces around this area. We live next to a cave, which is pretty nice. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Okay, so... I know the uh, the never-ending meme is that I only build fucking 2 by 2s That's fair enough, but today that all changes. I want to build something a little bit out there. A little bit of something new. Exciting. Exhilarating. So you'll see guys, the plan basically, if you didn't catch my latest, not latest, but a couple of days ago, I released a video just showing how to make unlootable base designs, um, and this is it. Basically, that's well hidden behind there, this will eventually become metal, so that it's, and so will that entire room that it's like locked in. Um, I'll, I'll hide it away behind two other drop boxes, so it's like a secret box. The only way to get it is to use like fire arrows and shit like that, and then on top of that, just to add it all to all of the glory and the beauty, when you destroy that box, the uh, the stuff falls inside. It falls inside that panic room inside. So it's just people aren't going to be able to get my shit out of that secret drop box. Basically, um, it's it's basically just a great little thing. Oh, pipes! I'm really hoping for a gun. Why don't you throw yourself into this game to like actually farm? It it, it can consume your life. I I understand why it consumes a lot of people's lives, and they spend a lot of time doing it because. It's just always that one more node, one, one more node, one more node won't hurt, one more tree, and then you just, you look at your watch and you've been playing four hours, you've fucking stood there with your dick in your hands, your pickaxe is about to break and you've got nothing to show for it, you know? Like, oh, you can have all the resources in the world, but 
Without the guns and the components and the scrap, it's just it's just worth it's just it's just nothing. Fucking chucked a satchel, no you can't. You can't do that. Fucking nail gun shots, killer. Now I'm being shot from somewhere else, there's two of them. There's fucking three of them! Where'd he go? Get him again. Where'd the third one go? Oh, I'm never gonna catch him, man. Fuck. Oh, fuck! Rippers. Hit some fucking good shots on him as well. I just could not... Couldn't end it with that final shot. He just got lucky. A couple more bandages and I would've had him as well. Ah! What are you gonna do? Them's the breaks, kiddo, I suppose. I could go and try and find him. Um, do you remember when that first guy had a fucking satchel charge and he threw it because he didn't want me to get it? Good times. Good times! There's a fucking airdrop over there. It's 100% gonna have been fucking raided and looted to the inch of its life, but... Might be some scraps for you, boy. Cross everything, cross everything, cross everything. <gasps> okay. Home, home on the range. Not great looting, but I'll fucking take that shit. Plus that absolute trash. I don't know about you guys, how many of you actually go for airdrops these days? I don't, I don't bother. It's just pointless. You get better loot from like the guys that go to them sometimes, like trying to kill them, than you do the drop itself, but I, I just don't even try and go for them anymore. It's been fucking bowed at, but I have absolutely no idea where from. Oh, behind me, okay, cool. Little does he know that your boy owns this fucking outpost base. Let's go. Nice. Tidy. Don't know what I'm gonna do with uh, all this space, but I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, so my idea, guys, is that I'm gonna start selling uh, pickaxes. Seems to work quite nicely last wipe when I did it. Um, it's a good BP to get right at the beginning, so if I craft a few, I only might need to go and get some wood first. If I craft a few pickaxes, sell them, try and get some scrap on board. Maybe I might be able to do some researches and try and, ha try and do some researches and maybe, just maybe, try and get my hands on uh, Bean Can or Satchel again. Now that would be glorious, but I don't think you get two lucky researches in one lifetime, but... I'm liking what we're doing with this base. We need uh, probably to put something on the top of it, actually. Although, if I just metal up the roofs of the like inner core, we should be alright short term. I'm basically just going to take a bit of a break now. Um, I've got, man's got to go and do some shopping, because we've got no food in this house, and I am hungry. So, that's probably where I'm going to end today's video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I, I know it was kind of a grindy one. I'm sorry about that. We died a couple of times, but we got a hell of a lot done. We're so set up for the wipe now, and that's, that's the big thing. Not every episode can be that jackpot, decayed base find, or jackpot satchel raiding, rich, tasty noobs, you know? You, you gotta do the farming, you got to, and we've done that today and I hope you've enjoyed it. I know, I know, I know. There will be more next episode, believe me. Um, I'm sticking on here, I'm, I'm literally taking a break for an hour and then I'm back on and grinding again. And I will be pushing on for raids, for raids and some proper PvP and good freaking hearty stuff. Because I'm, I'm done with farming now, well... You're never done with farming in Rust, but you know what I mean. Drop a like, leave a comment, let me know how you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed your stay. I'll see you next time. My name's been Tills. Catch you in the next video. Peace. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking.